we've been going through some advanced humanoids like the Atlas bot, Amica, Robodogs, even Spidey Robots all this time, and it's been some time since we got something unusual, right? What if we say that over a quarter of 18 to 34 year olds will feel it's normal to form friendships and even romantic relationships with robots in the future instead of humans? Well, this is a question that's been widely explored by sci-fi novelists and filmmakers for decades. Excited? Then why don't we talk about it already? Hey folks, welcome to Robot Future, where we bring you the newest and best updates from the field of robotics and AI. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. Yep, it's about dating bots. We currently have virtual dating AI bots like Replica in our app stores. Most of you guys might have experience in using the app. If you've not looked at it yet, do check it out. So the whole idea of this app is to act as a personal AI that would help you express and witness yourself by offering a helpful conversation. It's a space where you can safely share your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, experiences, memories, and dreams. In short, it's your private perceptual world. In fact, you don't have to feel embarrassed about what the other person thinks. Sounds good, right? But this is virtual. How about something physical that could be with you? I mean, physically. Are you having goosebumps? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it's true, there are robots that might seem more advanced and more human than the Amica or Atlas. Just as we mentioned in the introduction, reports suggest that more than a quarter of 18 to 34 year old people will believe that it's totally normal to build friendships and even emotional relationships like dating with robots in the near future rather than with humans. And along with it, it looks like men are more inclined to grasp with the bots. With the report demonstrating that males are three times more likely to establish a core sentimental relationship with a bot than women. It's just an analysis of a future that may or may not happen, don't worry ladies, or mm, it's more likely to happen. <laughs> Anyways, the major question that arises now in your minds will be, how far have we come towards it? Currently, we have robots like Sophia and Amica which are really progressive, especially in showing facial expressions, which nearly horrified some of its audience at the CES 2022. Amica is presently titled as the most advanced robot of today. On the other hand, we have robotic sex dolls, which makes it easier than ever for people to rely on technology for satisfying their sexual needs. Experts predict that the number of digisexuals will soon increase. Samantha is a realistic sex bot that is currently for sale in London. Samantha is one of the first artificially intelligent sex dolls created by Cynthia Amatus, a robotics company. Samantha's premise is a responsive computer system with a sensor-based interface inside the body of a sex doll, and the name was chosen because it means listener in Aramaic. This interface was prototyped in version 1. Eleven sensors were embedded in various areas of the doll's body, including the waist, hands, face, mouth, and of course, <laughs> the private area, and touching them triggered a voice interaction. Version 1.1 includes a listening mode with vibrations in the left hand and private parts. It has the ability to speak approximately 6,000 sentences. Santos sold about 15 of these, which he and his wife built in their own home. The most recent version, 1.2, includes motors for motion. These are powered by two batteries, which are located just beneath her chin, next to the microphone. This version also has a limited amount of memory. That's the technical side of Samantha. This robot is not just some advanced robot, but the new update to it makes it even more amazing. Samantha's most recent upgrade is quite intriguing. The sex doll robot will now be able to automatically shut down if it detects any disrespect or if they're not in the mood. This is a great improvement when looking aside from morality. Just imagine a robot that is a combined version of Amica and Samantha. Cool, right? With the current scenario in the robotic industry, it isn't impossible to build one. Maybe we'll see one in the coming years. It's not just about satisfying sexual desires or being a companion, these bots can do more. For instance, the existence of robot pets such as Ibo and Paro demonstrates that robot-human relationships can provide emotional satisfaction to humans. A pet robot, Baby Seal, has been found to help dementia patients relax, and a child robot has helped children on the autism spectrum. Human-to-human -human relationships with bots, on the other hand, differ from person to person. The power dynamic is unique. Sex bots like Samantha or Emma are portrayed as human-like, but she's submissive in marketing. There is little social interaction. The bot's passive gaze has no interaction with the observer. She's still a disempowered body that can only be observed. 
The unequal power balance in human-bot relationships could contribute to the success of robot companions. And while it's not impossible that some people may find companionship in sex robots, current technological limitations prevent them from emulating the experience of human-to-human -human relationships. Our aversion to and fascination with erotic objects can reveal a great deal about cultural understandings of sexuality, companionship, and technology. Humans look to technology for solutions to solve our own flaws and difficulties. So perhaps the question isn't, can these dating bots be companions, but what is a companion? And can the solution to loneliness be solved with it? That's something to think about, right? So coming back to the report about which we were talking so cautiously, the report, which was made in Paris, looked at the future of artificial intelligence as well as people's attitudes towards the future of technology. The findings were based on a survey of 12,000 people of various ages from around the world, and it was discovered that men in the UK were three times more likely than women to agree that they could have a relationship with a robot in the future. And romantic relationships with bots will be more common than you might think now, with the analysis estimating that as many as 27% of 18 to 34 year olds will engage with them. Aside from robot relationships, the report made several other future predictions. According to the data, men in the United Kingdom are more likely than women to prefer their social media lives to their real ones, with nearly 20% preferring the virtual world of social media. Well, it's not just their fault. People are not what they seem on social media and dating apps. The study reveals that nearly half 42% of the above-mentioned age group of people felt unhappy about their own lives after comparing themselves to others on social media. And that's a huge issue with this, it's more covered and concealed. Our infatuation with this theory isn't hard to leave. A sentimental relationship with a machine or AI seems to take away all of the mess and unpleasant aroma of some of our human attitude, and leaves you with something that is much more modest and easier to understand. And remember all these only if the connection between them is fairly sterile. One thing is sure from the above data, people will have AI bots as companions in the near future, and there's no stopping it as there exists this unquenchable thirst of curiosity in this field. So the major question to be asked to ourselves is that, should you be worried? No, you shouldn't be worried about it. One, this situation is still far away, and second, human-to-human -human relationships will still exist at its time and will always be valued over all these virtual relationships. So, what do you think about these predictions, and would you guys love to see more about this? Drop what you guys would love to see on our channel in the coming days in the comment section below. So overall, from watching the video, what do you think of these advanced dating bots? Did you find her cool or, hmm, would she steal your man too? <laughs> Anyways, drop in your views about these bots in the comment section below. Well, this isn't the end of the story. More updates will arise about the bots in the coming days, and we here at Robot Future will be delivering the best of the content to you folks. Drop your views in the comment section below. That's about it for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one. And while you're at it, turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Drop a like for the video if you're a massive fan of robotics and AI. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet again in the next one.